Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is your mid-month reading for October and this is for Aries. Aries, let's find out what do we have for you this mid-month and what can you expect in the next two weeks. I hope everyone is doing well and thank you for your continued support to my channel. I'm using my own tarot deck, which is the uh, Nomad Soul Warrior Tarot. If you want to get a copy, check out my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box below. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. In love, in life, and everything in between. First card out, Aries, Justice. Page of Wands. Are you being stern with someone right now? Or this is you not playing games anymore. Yeah? Not playing games about love. You're, you're onto real love, looking for real deep connections. Doesn't have to be getting married right away, but you're more into... You would rather wait for a good connection to come in instead of just wasting your time for some... Uh, I'm not sure how to call it. F-boys, F-girls or something like that. You're into the real thing. Yeah? I feel like it gives you um, satisfaction to spend more time even on your own. You know, have that quiet moments. For some of you, this could be in a form of reading, sleeping, resting, rejuvenating. Yeah, but you're not feeling stuck at all. It's just that you would rather have the real thing rather than play along with some BS. Yeah, whether it be in love or uh, life in general. But, I see here that in terms of in terms of love, yeah, you're looking for something uh, you're looking for something that is real and deep and somebody who is capable of um, reciprocating to whatever you can give. Yeah. To whatever you can give. Um I feel like you've also walked away from a situation, Aries, even though um, this could only um, resonate probably with some, but you might have walked away from a situation even if you felt a very deep connection with someone. I felt like you walked away. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, for some of you, um, this is you, uh, if you're dealing with someone, it feels like you have openly uh, mentioned or talked to the person of what you really want yeah, in, in your connection. What are your <laughs> rules? What are your desires? Your, if it is like, you know, you, you told the person what you really want out of a relationship, right? And I feel it's more about deep, having that deep connection you're, you're happy to have that and you're happy to be with that person as well yeah and you kind of let that person uh, decide yeah how do they see the situation are they reciprocating you know you don't really push so hard you just told them what you want and then let them think about it you let them think about it you let time um pass yeah for those yeah this would be for those of you who are already uh, relating to someone yeah and some of you this person may have um kind of ignored you after hearing what you wanted yeah they kind of step back in terms of um pursuing you yeah and it would feel like to you it would feel like oops is it done is it over have i been ghosted is it uh, complete or will i ever hear from this person again yeah but you're hopeful somehow because in your end, you express what you wanted. Yeah, you were clear. You probably had that talk to this person. But somehow this person um, wasn't probably ready to give you an answer. Yeah, it looks like they are uh, likely tied up with work, more focused on, on their work. But at the same time, I do see that this person could be looking out we have two pages here could be looking out for other connections yeah 
this could be a person who could be looking out for other connections too. Yeah. You know what? This could be a situation, um, Aries, where you have dodged a bullet. Yeah. It's good that you are open to express uh, your desires or what what your expectations are or what do you um, expect in a relationship with someone. If you're dealing with someone, you express to them what you want. You want an honest, deep connection. For some of you, you want a relationship. You were pretty blunt about it. Yeah, in a good way. Yeah. And yet this person may not have uh, received it properly. It's not because they don't love you. I see that there is attraction. Yeah. They are curious about you. They're fascinated about you. But at the same time, they may not be ready. Yeah. They may not be ready to give you an answer right away. Uh, when I say you probably have dodged a bullet here, it is because um, as of the moment, I see there's some form of insecurity yeah, within this person that you're dealing with. Uh, insecurity could be coming from, you know, the ending that they have had in their past relationship. They may have been cut off. This person may be afraid of um, letting you know them, yeah, at the deeper level. They have this fear that the moment you get to know them, you will not like them. You will not admire them. So there is that um, kind of low self-esteem vibe which could also bring about um, a bit of uh, toxicity in a situation because you will feel this person would be willing to, to talk to you, to engage, um, to show you that they want to provide or they want to give you their time, effort, you know, they can be consistent at times. But you don't see, um, they can be consistent in calling you, in texting you. But in terms of really taking action, yeah, in pursuing you, uh, perhaps getting you or bringing you out for dates or making some time, you know, with each other, um, you don't see that happening. It's not because they don't want you. It's more about this person has a fear that the more you get to know them, the more you would not like them. Or the more you would lose interest. Wow. Why is that? For now, if this person has ghosted you, it would appear to you like they have ended things abruptly. And I feel like they are probably like holding back in reaching out to you. And it would seem like, yeah, they're not talking to you. I do sense that this person could be um, checking you online or other ways. But they are kind of pretending that they're not interested, that they are not engaging as much, but the interest is still there. The only thing is I see this person also has some other, some other, um, yeah, some other fun times that they are doing. Some other things that they are considering for now. So they, they have interest in you, but may not be as much, yeah, in terms of this. This is the lovers and the ten of cups. This is like deep connection full, that's full of love. Yeah, I, have, I feel like you may have fallen, uh, fallen in love or you've fallen for this person faster than they did for you. For now, I feel like you're on a waiting mode. Or they've put you there while they are having fun, enjoying, going out, and things like that. So let's see. Any advice for Aries? Let's see what's going on. This is mid-month, so let's see what's going on. What advice can we get for Aries? Yeah. <laughs> for you, it's also... Wow, Ace of Pentacles. So for you, it's also a matter of... Um, pursuing what you want. Don't get stuck in a situation that doesn't give value to your life. Pursuing what you want, doing things that are good for you. If it means dating new people, meeting new people, other people of um, similar minds, go ahead and do that because that will give you 
you know, that sense of prosperity, that sense of success, because once you meet um, people of similar minds, similar likes, yeah, and they are vibing in the same frequency as you, you will f feel like a million dollar babe or a million dollar hottie, right? And also, I feel like there is a new opportunity coming your way. It's the Ace of Pentacles. This could be related to money, love. Um, this could be uh, in a sort of promotion for some of you. Let's see. What is this? What's Ace of Pentacles for Aries? Oh, okay. There's something that you have been wishing for, Aries. For some of you, you may have been waiting um, some form of payback. Yeah, it could be that um, somebody has owed you money and um, you have forfeited <laughs> that uh, transaction already. For you, you were not expecting to be paid back. And all of a sudden, yeah, you will, you will receive it. Yeah, all of a sudden, this person comes back and pay you back the, what they've owed. Um, for some, this could be in a form of uh, work credits. So if you have done a lot of work in your job, in your career, and you felt like you have been passed on for um, a promotion, for instance, I feel like all of a sudden, you see that there is an opportunity for you to get that back. Yeah, for you to get that back. Just don't be driven by, by drama or don't be, uh, don't spend too much time in terms of um, BSing people around because that can cause the limiting beliefs that you may have. But rather trust that if it is meant for you, it will come. I feel like there is somebody who's helping you. It could be a Pisces. It could be... Um, yeah, it could be a Pisces or a fire sign person who um, would help you get on track and get that Ace of Pentacles too, if it is related to work. Other than that, I feel like this is, this is more of a surprise, something that is unexpected, something that you wouldn't even believe. So this could be in a form of um, winning the lottery. Yeah, you bought a ticket, you forgot about it, and all of a sudden you get it. Yeah, all of a sudden you get it. Or you have lent money because it's all about financial assets, right? You lent money to someone you were not expecting to be paid back and you did. Also, if you have put in uh, some form of investment, you were not expecting for any returns and you will. So that sort of thing. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.